Hi everyone, today we are going to see about how to consuming a RESTful web services in Spring Boot application. Here in this demo I am using the REST template to consuming a REST APIs. Already in my machine product service is running here. So look at here, this is the API to get the list of products and then this is the API to create a product and then this is the API to update the product and then this is for delete the product okay so look at here i am meeting the url get list of products so it's returning a two products and then i'm going to create a new product again okay product is saved successfully now i'm going to hit the get list of products here so the third element i mean the third product is added now i'm going to update the product mobile into nokia mobiles okay so look at your product is updated successfully Again, I am meeting the get list of uh, products. So the third product is name is updated successfully. And then I am going to delete a product, the third one. Product is deleted successfully. And then look at here, the third product will be deleted. Okay, it is deleted now. So the get list of products, create, update and delete APIs are running in my machine. This is a simple REST controller. Now I am going to call those APIs by using the REST template. Okay, so here I am going to create a new class called REST template product controller. The same controller I am going to write now, but I am going to call those APIs via REST template. So at the REST controller annotation I added here. Now I am going to create a new API called template slash list of products. So previous one I, I have showed right so that is slash products so here the api is template slash products so i am calling this list of products by using the rest template so i created the request mapping and then the method is get and then i am defining a method this method is returning a string because i am going to call, call the rest template so it will return the response body as a string so the same response body i am returning here and then now i am going to declare a rest template so this is a rest template object i am creating so okay the package is imported successfully now i am going to hit the url get list of products by using the rest template before that I need to add the HTTP headers for that API. So HTTP headers and then the headers uh, accept is application JSON. Okay. I am adding here. And then uh, the entity. The HTTP entity we need to add. The headers we need to set. So for this get products we don't need to send any request body. So I added only the headers and then look at here the rest template dot exchange method i am using to hit the url get list of products and then the method uh, is get method so this is the url i am calling by using the rest template and then it will return the string class i mean the response body is here i mean response body is a string so i am returning that the same thing I am going to write again to create a product by using the template, rest template. So the method is post method. I am defining a method. This method also retaining a response body. So the string create the method name I am giving create products by template. Okay. Uh, the same thing the HTTP headers accept things everything we need to set. But for this product we need to send the request body so i added the request body as a product so what are uh, whatever the product we given in the request body that will create by using the rest template so look at here the same thing the http headers and then uh, headers accept type i am setting here also and then uh, http ent entity we need to set but http entity should be the product not the string because we are sending the request body as a product okay product of headers 
I think uh, product should come first. The first argument should be the request body object, the product. And then the HTTP entity is not a string, it's a product. Okay. HTTP entity is a product. So automatically it will convert the product data into the JSON and then it will send to the API. Again, I am calling the rest template.exchange method. The method I am name uh, i mean the method is post method the api method and then it will return the response body so the create product uh, rest template is written successfully now i am going to write for uh, put method to update the product so i am adding the product id as a path variable so look at here the request method is put from this method i am going to call a update uh, product api so the method name I am giving update product by template and then it also requires the request body of product and then the path variable is id the path variable I am giving it is a id I think okay path variable and then the path variable is id it, uh, the data type is string and then it requires the request body the request body is a product Uh, the request body product so this method also i am going to use the http headers and then the accept type everything so http headers accept type and then the entity so the request body the product will send into the but i mean that api so the same thing the rest template dot exchange method i am using to update the product and then the http method is put method but in the url i am adding the path variable as id to calling that api this api will update the product okay now i am going to write here api for delete so here the method request method is delete the same uh, think I mean the method name I'm giving now the delete product by template public string delete product by template also it requires also the path variable to delete the product which product ID we need to delete so that ID we need to give your string of ID and then it is also requires the HTTP headers and then the headers accept type everything I think for this daily product we are not going to send any request body so I remove that uh, product from the http entity okay just we need uh, we need to set headers only so i remove that and also the http entity is not a product a string okay it can be no issues so whatever you can send because the delete product only right we don't require any the request body and then the url i change the id and then the method is delete method i am calling so this is the api for delete the product by using the rest template okay look at here uh, this method also will return the rec response body so response body is a string instead of this you want to use any conversion of the response body into the json or xml you can read the body from the response entity okay and then you can convert by using the object mapper and then the xml parser we can use and then you can send the response anytime you want like json or xml anything okay so the response entity is a string so response dot get body it will return the string if the string is a json you can convert the convert the string into the json by using the object mapper and then you can return so the methods i am simply using rest template dot exchange dot get body so instead of this uh, declaring an object response entity but the delete method only i am returning now so look at here the create product uh, get products everything i return the response body itself instead of declaring the response entity object so everything is done now i'm going to take a build of this application again because already running there so i i quit that application now i'm taking a build by using the command gradle clean build okay build is successful now run the jar file under the build and lips directory okay so application is uh, starting now 
Okay, look at here. Application is started. Tomcat started on the port 8080 in the HTTP. Okay, now I'm uh, going to call the URL. Get list of products by using the template. Okay, I'm clicking the send button. Okay, it's returning the response as a string. Okay, now I'm going to create a product by using the template. So this is the URL I'm using the template products. Okay, template products for get and then this is for post. So it requests the uh, product uh, as a request body ID and name. So product is saved successfully. Okay, product is saved successfully. Now I can hit the URL, the tele television, mobile, laptops, everything. The third product is added here. Okay, now I am going to update the product. The third product, the same thing, the templates, products, and then the ID, the method is put method. It requires also the product uh, request body. So name I am going to change. The product is updated successfully. Now I am meeting the list of uh, get products API. So look at here the name, the Nokia mobiles. The product name is updated successfully. Now I am going to hit the URL to delete the product, the template, delete the product by template. Okay. So these APIs uh, will delete the product or create the product by using the rest template. So look at here product is deleted successfully. Now I am meeting the uh, get list of products by using the template API. Okay, look at here. The third product is deleted. Okay. So these are the HTTP headers I am setting to call the rest template as a JSON and everything you can set. If you have any authorization, you can set it in the HTTP headers and then the method and then the response body, everything you can set here. Okay. So this is the API is returning as a string the response body dot get body i mean response dot get body okay so thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel to get more video alerts thank you